Hi guys and welcome to another video. So today I am trading my real horses for something a little bit more magical on Star Stable. So guys, this video is in paid partnership with Star Stable and before we jump into the gameplay, I wanted to tell you a little bit about the game. So Star Stable is a free multiplayer game and it's all about horses, friendship and adventure. The game has been made so that you can create a character, create your own horse, care for that horse, go on adventures with that horse and also the multiplayer allows you to make friends while doing so. So now that I've given you a little bit of a taste of what it's like, let's jump into the game and I'll show you how you can create your very own account. In order to download and set up the game, all you have to do is click the link in the description box below this video and that will take you to the website. Clicking that link will also give you one week free Star Rider, um, which normally you do have to pay for and it gives you lots of amazing benefits. So this is where we can create our character and our horse. As you can see, you create a random name. So I quite like Coco Grey Tower, so I think we'll give that a go. And for my horse's name, I quite like the Shadow Strider that it's already given me. So I think I'm going to stick with those. But before I pop any of the information in to sign up, I am going to customise my character. So for my face, I think, I quite like that one, we'll go with that face, and uh, my hair, I am a blonde, but my roots are pretty bad at the moment, but we'll go with blonde, and we all know I've got quite long hair. So for the makeup, I think we'll go a bit more natural, maybe that one. And then my eyes, I'm going to go for like a greeny blue, maybe green. My eyes actually change colour, so. Right, so for my horse's coat, now we all know I love a grey and I think I might base this one on chilli, so that's what we're going for. And a grey mane, I wish chilli was this clean, but he's not. So there we go, that is my person and that is my horse. I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, they look pretty good. Right, so now to sign up, all you have to do is type in your email and quote with the password and also give your date of birth. So there we go, we've created our person, we've created our horse and we are all signed up and it's now time to download. So if you have a Mac like I do, so I'm using my MacBook Air, then it will automatically start downloading. Um, it downloads pretty quick um, depending on your internet, so it should be downloading down at the bottom here. So basically all you now have to do is drag Star Stable into your applications. And as you can see, that is now in my applications, so I just want to open it up. So this is the part where we want to put our email and our password in that we've just signed up to. So whilst installing, you might notice that there is the option to become a star rider. Now, you guys have actually got the option to become a star rider completely free for a week. All you have to do is click the link in the description box below this video and that will entitle you to one week's free Star Rider. Literally all you have to do is click play and it will load up. So the loading screen tells you everything you need to know about the story behind Jorvik. So Jorvik is a magical island where all the horses and all the people are and basically you're going there for the summer to work at the stables and you're hoping to also stay on there and apply to live there and work with the horses. So there's also this idea of a magic surrounding Jorvik and sort of a bit of a legend and we will see a bit of that during the gameplay. So to give you an idea of the gameplay, I'm going to run through a few of the really fun things you can do. When you first load the game and everything, it teaches you how to do specific things, but I'll let you guys find that out for yourselves, and I just really want to go through some of the really exciting things you can do. 
Um, so initially we're going to learn horse care, um, how to care for the animals and do our first few tasks together because um, this is my first time actually going through it. And then I'm also going to show you a lot of the other exciting things that you can do on the game. So in order to care for our horse, all we have to do is go to the bag inventory. It's really, really easy to find. This over here shows our map, um, it shows our shopping options and our quests and things like that. So I'll go through that in a second. But first, I just want to show you how to care for your horse. So the first thing that you're going to be taught is this. And you go on your little backpack icon and this is what opens up. So in here we have lots of different things to help care for our horse. I think the first thing we're going to do is give our horse some hay because he might be a bit hungry. Perfect. And a bit of water. So the idea is that you do all of these stages with your horse each day to keep them nice and fit and healthy just as you would with a real horse and it's all about building a bond and learning to take care of the animal. So it's not just our own horse we're going to be caring for, so the job is that we are working at the stables so it's time to go and look after the horses on the stables. So we're going to be mucking out and as well as that you're going to be giving the horses hay and giving them water and these are tasks that are called your chores that you do every day. So that is the horse care. The other things you can do are take part in races and competitions. Um, there's kind of like clubs and things on here you can join. So let's give that a go. So part of the gameplay is to complete tasks. Completing tasks means you can go explore new areas. One of the really cool areas I've just found is this new kind of like rainbow land. Um, and on here you can do things like races and things like that. And another thing that you can do in the game is that you are not just limited to one horse, you can actually fill a stable um, with your own horses as you earn money um, by doing different tasks in the game. So this is one thing that we all know, I can't just have one horse. So these are some of the horses, for example, that you can buy. So there are all different breeds, such as Halflinger, there are warm bloods. there's even some Shires in the game. Um, so it's a really good way to learn about different breeds, it gives you a bit of a bio about them, sort of their strengths, what they're good at, things like that. And you can decide, you know, which one do you want to buy, which one do you want to keep in your stable. You can swap between horses as well as horses, you can also have pets, you can customise the game a lot, um, which is something I really like. So those are just an idea of some of the amazing things you can do in this game, but honestly it is endless. 
Okay guys, so I am going to leave this video here. I hope you've enjoyed watching me play. This is just the very start of what Star Stable has to offer. There is so many other options of things you can do, different quests you can go on, you can personalise your wardrobe, you can even buy pets in the game. Um, so there's lots you can do. So if you feel like checking it out, just click the link in the description box below and you will also get your free Star Rider for a week. So thank you so much to Star Stable for working with me on this. As I said, it was a paid partnership with them. I've really enjoyed the game and I've really enjoyed playing. So thank you ever so much. And don't forget to like and subscribe, guys, and turn on the bell icon so you get a notification every time I post. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye, guys.